Hello, here's the upgraded manufacturing template. Now in this video, I'm going to go through the five newly added features. So on the screen, I've opened up the template and we're currently in the reports section. Now in this section, you notice that we've added four new buttons. The first takes you to the sales rep section where you can add or modify an existing sales rep. The second takes us to the commission tables where you can modify the existing percentages. The third, takes us to the sales rep summary report. And this is a report that shows you the total transactions per sales rep. And the last is our commission summary, which enables you to know the total amount due to each sales rep on a monthly basis. Now in this video, I'm going through all the new features. The first is the new section. I'm going to click on sales rep and it takes us to that section of the template. Now this is where you document all sales rep information. It works exactly the same as the customer section you simply click on the first blank field and type in the representative's name. Once you're done, you move to the next field by either clicking or pressing the tab key on your keyboard, and then you go ahead and enter the phone number. Next, you enter the email address if you have it. If you don't, you can go ahead and leave that blank. So now I've successfully added our first representative. To add another, you simply click on the next blank field below the last entry, type the name, the phone number if you have it, and the email address. And you can equally modify the fields at any time. So if I want to make the J capital, I simply double click and then replace that with a capital J. So now I've successfully added two reps. So that sums up the first new feature. Now the second feature is with regards to modifying the sales section such that you can link a sales rep to each transaction. Now to do that, I go to the sales section and I simply click on the new sales button. Now, before I do that, let me just show that I've added a generic product, product one, to be used in this demonstration. So going to the sales section and clicking on new sales, you notice that at the bottom of the data entry field, we've added a new field titled sales rep. Now this is the second feature. It enables you link a sales rep to each transaction. Now all other fields work like before. You simply, for instance, the date, the status, the customer's name, select the product from a drop-down list, enter the unit price, the quantity, and lastly, now you can select the associated sales rep. So once I click enter, it's going to store that transaction. So the first row you notice is populated with the values that I supplied. And if I scroll to the right, you notice our new column here, the sales rep column, and this is going to list all sales reps that have been associated with any transaction. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another transaction, new sales, retain the date, paid, retain the customer, and this time around it can be the same but just a different quantity, but this is going to be for John Andrews. So once I click enter, it's going to store that transaction. So now we have two sales and each linked to a different sales rep. So if I scroll to the right, you notice the first was random, the second, John Andrews. So that's the second new feature. Now the third feature is in the report section. We have our sales rep summary report. Now this report enables you on a monthly basis know the total number of transactions as the breakdown per sales rep. To do that, you simply click on the report and functionality have been added such that when you click, it will automatically refresh. So you don't need to click any refresh button anymore. And once you do, the template is going to list all transactions but now you have the ability to filter. So if I change this, notice right now, the total amount we got from rows is a bit over 260,000. But if I want to see for only rows random as the sales rep, you notice the value reduces. So rows random got me only 30,000 worth of product from rows. The same way if I want to see for John, notice that John got me the balance, which is a bit over 200,000. There we go, 231,000. So now you can filter by year, by month, and by the sales rep. You can print this out, give to the sales rep on a monthly basis. Now the fourth feature is with regards to the commission tables. So if I click on that, it opens it up. And we've added two tables to this template, the Naira table and the quantity table. Now each table supports up to four levels. And you notice that I've populated with the values, but you can always change this. So you can double click and replace the values as you wish. So you can replace the figure values and the percentage values. 
Now, let me explain how the table works. As I said earlier, there are four levels. So what this table means is that any transaction whereby the total amount is less than 501,000, the sales rep is going to get 0% commission. Any transaction that is less than 1 million and 1 Naira, the sales rep is going to get 2.5%. Any transaction that's less than 1.5 million and 1, the sales rep is going to get 5%. And any transaction that's above 1 million 501 Naira, the sales rep would get 10% commission. Okay, so these are the limits. So 500,000 and below, this is it. 1 million and 1 and below, this is it. 1.5 and 1 and below, this is it. And anyone above this amount, then this is it. Okay? So it's below these limits. The same on the quantity side. So any transaction that is 200 and below this amount. So any quantity that is less than this value, this is what the customer gets. Any quantity that is less than this value, this is what the sales rep gets. Any quantity that's less than this, this is what the sales rep gets. And any quantity that is this number and greater than, this is what the sales rep gets. Okay? And as I said, you can modify the values. Now, we currently have two transactions, and I'm not sure if either of them meet any of the requirements. But I'm going to go ahead to the last feature request, that's number five, which is the commission summary. So that we can be able to see if the sales rep got any money. So I'm going to go to October, since that's the month we have our transactions. Next, I'm going to select or enter the year, which is 2018. And lastly, I'm going to select the sales rep. So these are the three attributes I need to supply. The month, the year, and then select the sales rep. And once I do, the template will automatically tell me the summary here. So in the month of October 2018, Rose Random sold 10 units of the product, and the total amount generated is 30,000 Naira. Now, if I click refresh, or refresh, excuse me, the template is going to break this down. So the 30,000 was gotten from only one transaction, which is on the 18th. 10 units, 30,000, but there's zero commission. Because 30,000 Naira, if we go to our table, 30,000 Naira falls below this amount. So it's 0% commission. However, if I change this limit here to, for instance, 20,000, what I'm telling Excel is that any value that is less than 20,000, this is what the sales rep gets. But any value that is less than 1 million and 1, this is what the sales rep gets. So if I refresh the report now, that customer or the sales rep should be eligible to 2.5% commission because it falls now within this bracket. And if I do that, you notice that it will automatically refresh. So once I click refresh, we should now see a commission here which should be 2.5% of 30,000. If I change to the other customer, John Andrews, tells me 77 units, that's the total quantity, and the total revenue value is a bit over 230,000. Now, once I click refresh, it's going to update the bottom part, and it tells me that this was obtained from only one transaction, which was on the 18th, and because of the new tiered percentage I used, this customer is eligible to a bit over 5,000, because the customer has a bit over 231,000 revenue amount. Now, this falls in the same category as 30,000. So if I go to the table, any value that is less than 1 million, but it's greater than 20,000 is going to be eligible to this amount. However, if I change the upper limit here to, for instance, let me just make that um, 100,000. So now that means that any transaction that is greater than 100,000 but less than 1.5 million will be eligible to 5%. So am I correct? Is that transaction greater than 100,000? Yes, it is. It's 200,000. So if I refresh, the customer should be eligible to more than this because I've modified the percentage. So the customer should be eligible to 5%, which is 11,550. So I hope that explains how the table works. And the same applies to the quantity. So right now, the total quantity is 77. So that's why the sales rep is eligible to zero commission. So if I go back to the table and just tweak the values under commission, so the lowest limit for commission to be eligible to have something, you need to have 201 or above. Any quantity that is less than 201 is eligible to 0% commission. I'm just going to change this to 50. So what I'm telling the template is that any quantity that is less than 50 is eligible to zero. 
but any quantity that is 50 or greater than and is less than 500 or 1,000 will be eligible to 2.5%. So that means that this customer should now be eligible to 2.5 because 77 falls within these two brackets. It's greater than 50, but it's less than 501. So if I refresh that report, we should now see that the rep, John Andrew, should be eligible to some commission by quantity. So if I click refresh, you notice that we have, there we go, that's 2.5% of the total amount. So that's how the commission report works. And if you have multiple transactions, so if I just, for demonstration purposes, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to modify the transaction here. So I'm going to make this the same month, but a different day. That's for Rose Random. So Rose Random has a transaction on the 8th, and I'm going to add another for Rose Random on the 18th, just to show you that the template is going to list all the transaction. It's going to be the same product because we currently have only one product in our database. This is Rose. So now we have two transactions for Rose in the month of October. The first is on the 8th, the second is on the 18th. So now if we go to our reports and our commission report, if we refresh, firstly selecting rows, you notice that the values here would have increased 60, which is the cumulative total. And if I click refresh, it's going to break it down. So 60,000 was obtained from two transactions. The first, 30, the second, 30. The sum of the two is what gives us 60. The same as the quantity. Overall, in the month of October, 20 units were sold by rows. The first on the 8th, the second on the 18th. And she's eligible only to 750, 750. That's, I think, 2.5% because 30,000 falls within our brackets in the table. Recall we changed it to 20,000 and below. So it means that she doesn't fall in this first bracket of zero because 30,000 is greater than 20. But since 30,000 is less than 100,000, that means she falls in this bracket. So 2.5% of 30,000, that's exactly 750. So I hope that explains the five new features. The first is the sales section. We can add your sales rep. The second is modifying the sales form so that now you can link a sales rep per transaction. The third is the report where you can select a particular month and it's going to list all transactions per the sales rep selected. So once it opens up, notice right now for Andrew, that's the only transaction we have. But if I change this to rows, we should now see the two transactions. The first, which should be on the 8th of October and the second, which is on the 18th of October. And to sort this in ascending order, I can click the arrow there and do oldest to newest. So it's going to help me sort it in ascending chronological order. There we go. The fourth is our tables here, where you can modify the quantities or the percentages. And the last is the actual commission report that will tell you the value or the money that's accrued to the sales rep based on the month and year that you specify.